When the frantic action of the bluegill's early season feeding frenzy fades, most panfish fans focus their efforts on predictable spawning areas. But as fish heads John Thielen shows us next, setting your sights on pre-spawn staging areas can help you get a jump on the action before bluegill hit the beds. bunch of fish in there. Got him that time. Yeah, it's a little one. Oh boy, they fight. Eh, you know what? He ain't that little. I thought he was little, but you know what? He's not that bad. That's what we're after today, right here. It's a plate full of bluegills. It's the first time I've had a chance to get out bluegill fishing this summer, and you know, bluegills, pumpkin seeds, hybrids, they're all up in the shallows right now. Fish like that one right there, they're great eaters. You know, you get into an eight inch fish like that and they just eat great. One of the things that I'm doing is most of the beds are up a little bit tighter to shore and we're gonna work this whole area, but what I'm trying to do is fish the fish that are a little bit off the beds. I'm not fishing for the biggest fish out here today because those are the ones that you want to do their spawning and you don't want to pull those fish right off the beds because a new smaller one will take its place and that's how all of a sudden a lake will find itself in a position where it's loaded with small bluegills. There's big ones in here too, but if you can stay just a little bit off and get those fish that are cruising around, they're the perfect dinner plate fish they taste great and they're fun to catch. Let me show you what I'm using today because it's just such a simple little setup. And I mean, this has caught panfish forever. Number one, it's a little nipper. I'm using a 16th ounce today. I'm just using it below a float. This Lindy little nipper though, this hair is constantly kind of poofing down there. And then we've got some night crawler that I'm just packing on here. And all it is is, you know, it's really just like ice fishing. Just pack some bait on there and, and they'll come up and attack it. And then I'm just putting it below a 16th ounce still wobble bobber. And I love this bobber and here's why. I don't want to get too close to these fish and I can cast this thing a mile. I mean, when I fire it, it just rips in there. This one also gives you the ability to know exactly what it's going to hold up and float. It's printed right on the side. So this one tells me that it's going to float a 16th ounce. And the other reason I can cast it so far, it's not just the weight and balance, but it's also these brass grommets. I got a brass grommet in both ends. So that line just slides through there like lightning. And when I cast it, I can cast it a long ways. I don't got to bring the boat tight to those fish. And if I don't got to bring the boat tight to the fish, I don't spook them. Bait lands on top of them and they eat it. Let's get right back out there. See if we can get us another one. You pick a spot out like what we got going right here. Don't leave it. Just keep casting to it because there are so many fish in there. And what's really cool about it is it's it's not something super special. It's just it's just some sparse weeds that are growing out here right in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Another great fish. And the colors on these fish at this time of the year are just so pretty. And there is nothing as good as an eight, eight and a half inch gill or pumpkin seed. That's just the perfect keeper size right there. That's just a lot of fun. Pitch him in here. We're well on our way to a great fish fry tonight. Let me show you something here. This just goes to show you how precise this can be. This float, I've missed a fish twice now. And you can see where the float is. What's happened here is I've just pulled it out of the weeds. Now it won't get touched. You got to be right in the middle of that little patch of weeds. And there's just piles of fish. But that's how precise you got to be. So really pay attention to exactly where you find them. Because you can then just sit and throw back to that same spot over and over and over. 10 feet, 15 feet can make a huge difference. Ooh, that one feels like a real good one. 
this one feels pretty good. Yeah, like I was saying though, man, it gets it gets hard to tell. You sit and you catch enough of them that. Oh yeah, let's see what we got here. <laughs> and they get going in circles. Oh yeah, that is what I thought. That's another good one. Look at that guy right there. Man, that's just a that's just a pretty fish, and he's just so fun to catch. That's just awesome, and it's just one after another. One of the things I'll tell you is when you get on a little spot like this, it doesn't take much. Don't feel like you gotta be up in the thick of it. Don't feel like you gotta be up on the beds that are tight. You can just find a little spot like this. That little spot, it can hold fish that are just running around eating. And look at that, I mean, that's just a great eater fish right there. And these aren't giants. I mean, we're not out here chasing giants today. We're trying to chase fish for the live well. And fish like that one, they're just perfect. Automatic. Just automatic in that little spot. This is a littler fish though. And he's headed, he's headed for the next county though. <laughs> Come here buddy. Oh geez, he's not as bad as I thought. I was thinking that he was gonna be little. I'll tell you what, we've sat and caught so many of them. I was just assuming that this was a littler fish. I'll tell you what, we're gonna throw that guy right there in the live well, and we're gonna finish up our day with that one. But get out and enjoy this, because this is one of the neatest resources there is. And if you come out here, you find the right water temps, you know, get in those high 60s, mid to high 60s. Find these shallow flats, find areas with a little bit of vegetation. And I'll tell you what, you can do this all day long. You get the kids out and do it. Get out and do it yourself. This is fun for adults. I still have as much fun doing this as I do catching walleyes. I'm John Thielen. We'll catch you next week on Fish Ed.